Okay. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Sarah from Divinely You. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. And uh, let's see what the cards have for you. We've got uh, the five of air. We got the five of earth. And balance. So let's take a closer look. All right. So it feels like we got these five cards, the five of air and five of earth, and they're kind of indicating like an uncertain situation or some fears around situations or fears around money. Maybe you're resistant to accepting help from others or accepting a monetary gift from another part from others. Um, as well as like uncertainty in, you know, situations. Um, obviously this one indicates self-employment, but it could be anything, right? It could be um, just uncertainty around your relationships, your home life, whatever it is. Um, and maybe trying to find some balance between your fear and acceptance, like accepting or receiving or surrendering to the gifts that are being offered or available for you. Um, it really feels like you know, the, 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 just the uncertainty, maybe you're questioning people's motives. Um, maybe you just don't know, maybe you're just not trusting and maybe you need to lighten up a little bit and, and learn to trust that God's got you. The universe has got you. The divine has got you and that you're going to be okay. And, and there's no need to be afraid of anything. Um, and just finding some balance between those two, even like, you know, there's, there's, there's always going to be fear. There's always going to be a place for like questioning things, but maybe there's some balance in like learning or developing the skill or stretching yourself a little bit to trust other people or to trust the, the, who's giving it, who's giving you the gift or offering the gift, um, does have your best interest. And so I feel like there's definitely a place to look as far as like, you know, if you can't trust the people offering, you know, gifts to you, then maybe it's a place to look about who's the people in your world, you know, that if you can't trust them, or you're not, you know, it, you're not willing to accept their motives or accept their gifts, like, you know, that's, that's both internal and external, right? Like that's internal, because it's a matter of trusting and surrendering and receiving from other people. But there's also like, the external, which is maybe it's not the right people in your world. And maybe you need to make some adjustments, set some boundaries, um, and just really be aware of who these people are that are offering you, uh, the gifts are offering you money or offering you maybe a roof over your head or, um, whatever it is like, there's, there's definitely some growth work here for you to work through. Um, you know, maybe doing like some evaluating of, like I said, the people in the circumstances in your world, like maybe they're not the right ones in this time and space. Maybe you're outgrowing people and it's time to, you know, let them go and just release them and, and invite new people in that you can trust and whose motives you can trust that they do have your best interest at heart. So places to look Virgo this week, it feels like, um, definitely, definitely do some inner work around, you know, who you're trusting, who you're inviting into your world or, um, do some inner work around, you know, what's your resistance to trusting people. Um, and then from the believe in your own magic, uh, uh, Oracle, um, we got clover or releasing the guilt, which kind of makes me think like, do you feel guilty? Because if you release these people, what's going to happen if I let them go and you know, they're not going to be okay. And they're not going to be able to do this or take care of themselves, or, or I'm not going to be able to be there for them. If I let them go, that's on them, not on you. That's their problem. That's something they got to deal with on their own. You have to step into yourself and be there for yourself and take care of yourself and release the guilt around um, being there for other, for people who are no longer serving your best interest or your highest good. So a little bit of work to do. I feel like for you this week, Virgo, I feel like there's a lot of places to do some journaling and some meditating, um, maybe have some conversations. You know, we got a uh, Mercury going retrograde in Gemini this week. This is a lot of conversations that are about to happen. Maybe some intense ones, maybe like you need to set some boundaries with people um, and just letting them know like, Hey, I really need you to honor me and support me and respect me. Or we need to readjust the boundaries of this relationship. 
or whatever it is. That's what I'm feeling like. So anyway, that's what I have for you this week, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, if you'd like a private reading with me, my email is below. And uh, I hope to see you on the next episode. Take care. Love you. Oh. 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 Oh.